she was a reporter, a trailblazer, and a star. Are you ready? We're all set. Okay, here we go. Ready? You ready? You ready? Barbara Walters, our Barbara, was a true icon, endlessly fearless, and never afraid to ask the question many wanted answered. You found yourself alone with Bill Clinton in the chief of staff's office, and you lifted the back of your jacket, and you showed the president of the United States your thong <laughs> underwear. Where did you get the nerve? I mean, who does that? <laughs> Over 60 years of broadcasting, she used the question mark to build a legendary career. Can I ask you something very directly, which may seem rude? In our country, we read that you are unstable. We read that you are mad. <laughs> you know that those things have been printed. Yeah. Why do you think this is? Other leaders are disliked, but they're not as controversial as you are. I'm just a normal kid. Oh, Eric, you're a normal kid who killed your parents. Tell me something bad about Taylor Swift. Yeah. In the new business of television, the screen was glass, and so too was the ceiling. Barbara broke through both and became the most important woman pioneer in the history of TV news. The fact that I ended up on television, I never ever thought that would happen. She began working in television in the early 50s, at a time when nearly half the homes in the country didn't even own one. She got her start off camera at local stations in New York, working her way up to a job as a writer on NBC's Today Show. They had to have one female writer. She did the fashion shows, she did the celebrities. What lit up the newsrooms of New York and eventually the television screens across America was the torch of her thousand watt ambition and her unmistakable talent. At first, most of the work she was assigned to do was less than serious. We're going to be talking about something very feminine right now, fashion. But her first on-air report on a national news event came on an historic day in November of 1963. One group of young men kept a very special vigil. These are the honor guards who have been guarding the casket of President Kennedy. Soon she became a regular. Good morning, I'm Frank McGee and Barbara Walters is here. Frank McGee went to the head of the network and said that I could not ask the hard news questions. They all had to be done by him. And what they finally decided to do was that he could ask four questions and then I could come in and ask one. If I could do the interview outside of the studio, it was mine. So I started to look for interviews outside of the studio. Mr. Secretary, this brings up one of the criticisms about you today, and that is that people say Henry Kissinger deals in excessive secrecy. What are you the least tolerant of these days? Lies or foolishness about me. The only mistake I ever did, the only harm I ever did was sing over the rainbow. This morning, we mourn the death of our dear friend and our most respected colleague, Frank McGee. When Frank McGee died, I became co-host. From then on, I think up to today, the women on the morning shows are co-hosts. That's a nice legacy to have. As the first woman co-host of a morning show, the other networks took note. So in 1976, ABC came calling with an offer she could not refuse. It would change her life and the business of TV news. Barbara Walters, who has been on the NBC Today program for 13 years, signed a contract with ABC Today. It was more than double the salary of the most famous anchor of the day, Walter Cronkite. Her contract for a rumored million dollars a year specifies that she'll co-anchor the ABC Evening News, among other network appearances. In those days, nobody thought it was possible. Harry Reasoner, Barbara Walters, bring you the news. I've kept time on your stories and mine tonight. You owe me four minutes. Harry Reasoner did not want a partner, and he certainly didn't want a woman. The reluctant partnership became a national punchline. I have to shoot an arrow into Barbara Walters. Ah, uh, you mean you're making her fall in love with Harry Reasoner? No. Harry just paid me to shoot her. Just didn't care. Stay Thank away. you. Okay. Nice to see you. She soon took on another role. Good evening. I'm Hugh Downs. And I'm Barbara Walters. And this is 2020. 
It would become her home for the next 25 years. And she broke yet another record with the most watched television news interview of all time. Did you ever tell Bill Clinton that you were in love with him? Yes. You did. What did he say? He said, that means a lot to me. Did he ever tell you that he was in love with you? No. There was no question, it seemed, she wouldn't ask. I'm going to ask you a terrible question. Did you ever order anyone killed? Yeah. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Yes, I think so, because they were private conversations subject to misinterpretation, as we have all seen. Whether ex-presidents, sitting presidents, or future presidents, none escaped the tough question. Shall we begin the torture? <laughs> yes, that's why we chose you. But the show she may have been most proud of was the pioneering daytime talk show, The View. There had not been a show with a group of people sitting together and talking unscripted. We want to give our kudos uh, to Barbara Walters. This is the house that Barbara Walters built. You know, looking back, perhaps Barbara Walters put it best. I have been blessed with a life I never expected. And helping me up the steps of the ladder over the years had been hundreds of people. Barbara paving the way. Her being there was already changing the world. So I never felt that anything was impossible, or I never felt there wasn't a way. And I think that was a gift she gave. You're really the reason why we're all here. You're the reason why I wanted to be in television. And many of us paid tribute to her in person when she retired from The View in 2014. Please welcome Diane Sawyer, Robin Roberts, Lara Spencer. I never set out to be a, a trailblazer. I never said, I'm going to do this, you know, for women. But I guess it's what had to be done. I want to be remembered in television, maybe as a creator, maybe as a good newswoman. No, more than being remembered, I hope that by younger women, I can help them inspire. I just want to say, this is my legacy. These are my legacy. And I thank you all of you.